Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're taking a look at Druids in WoW Shadowlands and I'm going to talk about why they're great in PvP and one of the best classes to play. They're currently one of the strongest PvP classes whether it comes to arenas, battlegrounds or open world PvP and we're going to get into why that is, taking a look at the damage and burst of the class, the stuns and CC available and the survivability and utility that Druids have. As a quick intro to the class and for those newer to the game, Druids are one of 12 classes in WoW Shadowlands but unique as they can swap in and out of different forms catering to different playstyles. They're a class that can be played in pretty much any playstyle and aren't restricted to one type, which is why a lot of people love playing as a Druid. You can play as a melee DPS, a spellcasting DPS, a healer or even a tank all as a Druid. In this video we're going to be covering the feral spec for druids only but make sure you subscribe if you want to see another video about a different spec or class and let me know if you want to see more in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see next and I'll try to focus on what you guys want to see first. Druids are one of the best classes to play right now and feral is one of the top specs to play for pvp. Feral druids have quite a few high damage abilities and you can really pick your playstyle by choosing to bleed enemies to death with abilities like rape and rip or hit them up fast and hard with a ton of burst. They also have a ton of survivability and can recover from a lot of tricky situations to help you heal up and stay in the fight, get a way to heal up and re-engage, or just get away completely. You can burst down enemies within a few seconds before they really even know what hit them with Convoke the Spirits and, as if that wasn't enough, can sneak around like a rogue and be completely invisible. You get to pick your fights and your targets. I'm going to be completely honest with you here, the single most powerful ability here that makes Feral Druid so damn strong is Convoke the Spirits. It's a Night Fae ability so you'd need to go with that Covenant but it's really too strong to not mention at the start of this video. It's simply broken and pretty much a one button kill in most cases. That even goes for enemies that are better geared than you. Convoke the Spirit steals 16 random abilities within 4 seconds, heals you and bursts down enemies at the same time. In most fights all you really need to do to kill an enemy is go invisible with prowl, sneak up to the target, open up with rake which deals high damage and stuns them for 4 seconds and then pop convoke the spirits. Over the next 4 seconds the enemy will be stunned and you'll automatically deal a ton of burst damage to the enemy usually killing them before they even get out of the stun. It's insanely strong and fun to use and is pretty broken all by itself. This will kill almost any similarly geared enemy and even those with better gear than you. On lower geared enemies, this will just tear right through them. What makes Feral Druid so powerful though isn't Convoke the Spirits itself, but the fact that even without this ability, like if you didn't pick it or it gets interrupted or just doesn't kill an enemy for some reason, you can still deal really high damage with your other abilities. You don't need Convoke to do well as a Feral Druid. This makes Convoke even stronger because it's something that isn't necessary. You don't need it to kill enemies, but because you have it, you'll probably kill them before you even get to use any other abilities. And then if you don't, you still have all those other abilities that haven't yet been used. The damage from most abilities here isn't too high on its own, but when all used together, the damage becomes really high pretty fast and most classes won't be able to survive for long. When using abilities like Tiger's Fury or Berserk, you get a lot of extra damage and you can deal a massive amount of damage and take down most players within just 5 to 10 seconds pretty easily. All of that is without Convoke. For longer fights or situations where you're up against more than one enemy, you have a ton of stuns you can use to help you survive longer or just give you more time to bring down an enemy. As mentioned, using Rake to attack an enemy when stealth stuns them for 4 seconds and Maim can then be used to stun them for another 5 seconds. You also have Mighty Bash which stuns them for another 4 seconds and can be used in any form as well as Skull Bash to interrupt any spell casting. And if you're a Tauren, you'll also have War Stomp which will stun all enemies around you for another 2 seconds. If that wasn't enough, using the Incarnation King of the Jungle talent ability will also allow you to re-stealth while in combat so that you can open up with Rake for another 4 second stun at any time, or just get away to heal yourself or re-engage. With all these stuns, you really have a ton of CC you can use while attacking enemies, and that's not to mention Cyclone which can also be used to take an enemy out of the fight for 6 seconds, or Entangling Roots which can keep enemies in place for up to 10. Using these effectively will help you stay alive and will stop enemies from being able to heal themselves or their friends or even attack you. You can line these stuns up pretty well and over time you'll get better at knowing when and where to use them, but just know that there's a ton of CC you have available here which is always useful. These stuns and CCs can be used to help yourself as well as your teammates simply stay alive or get kills. 
Apart from all that, when it comes to surviving or even chasing down enemies, you have a ton of utility. First off, you have dash, which is always useful and increases your speed by 60% while in cap form, as well as stampeding draw, which does the same for you and all nearby allies and shares a different cooldown. Swapping in and out of forms gets you out of any roots like Frost Novas and other abilities that stop your movement, and Soul Shape, which is a Night Fae ability, allows you to pretty much blink away to chase an enemy down or get away when needed. This can be really useful. To top it all off, swapping to Bear Form gives you a ton of extra health and armor, allowing you to heal up real fast using Frenzy Regeneration. You can also use Renewal to instantly heal for 30% of your max health, and while this can be used in any form, using it in Bear Form with the extra HP will mean that you'll get healed more. When you're low on health and about to die, just swap to Bear Form, pop Renewal and Frenzied Regeneration, and you'll be back up in no time while the enemy will look at you in disgust. When you're back up, just swap back to your cap form and finish the enemy off. Or even stay in bear form where you'll be harder to kill and can still deal pretty high damage with abilities like Mangle, Thrash and Strength of the Wild. You can also use Incapacitating Roar to incapacitate multiple enemies around you for 3 seconds, buying you some extra time. Survive long enough and you'll be able to use Frenzied Regeneration again, as it only has a cooldown of 35 seconds, which makes it easy to use often, especially in longer fights and arenas. As you can see, with all the damage, CC and survivability, Feral Druids are one of the best classes to play when it comes to PvP. They can be a really easy class to play with easy to use abilities like Convoke the Spirits, but those who dive deeper into the class and learn it well will really excel with it. It's an easy to learn but hard to master type of class and spec, which I think many players will appreciate. Druids are a really solid pick and you can't really go wrong with them. You can always swap your spec and playstyle without having to level an entirely new class, so they're perfect for more casual players too. I'll probably be making a video about balanced druids soon as well, so keep an eye out for that. I'll leave you with a few extra clips towards the end of the video, but that's all for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.